The natural world provides its inhabitants with the greatest source of excitement, visual beauty and intellectual interest. From the tropical rainforests of South America to the endless savannas of Africa, the deserts in Australia and the mountainous regions of the north, our world contains a magnificent array of creatures from all walks of life and works tirelessly to support each of their needs. There are tens of millions of species of plants and animals in the world, yet these are disappearing at a rate faster than previously thought possible. Every 20 minutes, three and a half thousand humans are born, yet one species of plants or animals are lost. At this rate of extinction, Scientists predict the end of two-thirds of all bird, mammal, butterfly and plant species by the end of next century. That's 20% of the world species in the next 30 years. We're in the midst of the sixth greatest extinction ever, a rate unprecedented since the disappearance of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. We know little or nothing about these species that are disappearing, many of which could hold potential benefit for us or our planet. We headed to the streets to find out what uni students knew about the issue of biodiversity loss and conservation initiatives. I didn't know it was that many, and I think it's terrible. I didn't know that. That's really sad. I didn't actually know that. So I think we should try and do something to change that, because I like animals. I suppose it's got to do with looking after animal species. I think conservation biology is um, the use of science to conserve the natural environment. Yes, a conservation initiative is taking place right now, protecting gorilla populations in West Africa threatened by deforestation. Uh, not specifically, but I have heard of them. Um, stuff like conserving the orangutans in Borneo and just saving all the species that are um, in doubt and, and they're threatened. Yeah, I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, I think if I knew more about what it was, it would probably be a good thing to support, but I might need to learn a bit more first. Conservation biology is a branch of biology which deals with the effects of humans on the environment and ways to reduce their impact. It prevents natural habitats becoming devastated by human activity, preserving it for future generations. The World Wildlife Fund, established in 1961, has played an increasingly important role in worldwide conservation programs. On a more local level, Taronga Zoo Conservation Society, established in 1995 as part of the World Zoo Conservation Society, encourages people to take action and prevent wildlife being lost forever. Apart from these two examples, there are many more initiatives taking place around the world in an attempt to prevent biodiversity loss. Biodiversity loss is a serious problem faced by humanity today. Unfortunately, it is one that is sadly overlooked. Recent growth in environmental awareness has placed great political pressure on governments throughout the world to develop conservation programs. Australia has the worst extinction rate, with at least 54 species lost since the European settlers. This is why we as a nation need to get involved and protect our native jewels. Think 
those guys are cute, you should get involved. <laughs>